Take two. Yeah, no kidding. I don't know if you uh, you listened to the other uh, update that I did yesterday, <laughs> but I did it again, man. I had uh, Christy Marie Sheldon in the background, and she's like com completely overpowering my my message or my update. But that's just the point. So anyhow, uh, aloha and welcome to Andrew Aloha's live update or some update. Anyhow. Flagstaff, Arizona. Aloha, Albert. Thanks for stopping by. Um, and I'm so, I'm assuming you can hear me pretty good. Is that correct, Albert? I don't know if you can tell me, let me know that uh, or not. Uh, so anyhow, um, first of all, a couple of things before I, I get started, and um, and then we'll go into this. Uh, I I I'm gonna be uh, my my. There, anyhow, there's going to be some shifting around going around, and I'll, I'll, I'll hopefully and assumably, I'll be getting a new uh, new computer pretty soon. So hopefully by the next time you see me doing this update, it will be on a, a brand new computer, literally. And I'm looking forward to that. Oh my God, I'm looking forward to this. This one, it, what is it? An HP. It's uh, uh, compact. Uh, it's so slow. Oh my God! It's it's an old computer, but but um, I'm looking forward to that, and uh, I think the things are just going to be a lot better. Hopefully, I'm assuming. So anyhow, and with that in mind, I don't know if you know anything about the Ascended Citizens, um, but uh, I'll be doing a, an Ascended Citizens uh, of event. I literally have two groups. Um, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and put those groups uh, links in in the uh, in the comment section so that way you can check it out for yourself if you and especially if you want to join the group uh, the Senate citizen is nothing more than people that are consciously uh, acting and uh, intending on on being right ha right uh, right action right conduct right relationship with everyone around them and with with themselves as as well. Uh, there are practices, literally guidelines, uh, that you can follow and work with to help you with that. If you go to my website, spiritualimageproductions.com, spiritualimageproductions.com, you'll find them there, and you can just check them out. And and that's all it is. It's just uh, um, aloha. I'm not sure who you are. Feather, thanks for stopping by. Um, um, if, if, if anyhow, you can go to my website and check it out, and, it, it, and that's all it is 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 a, a commitment on, on your part, on your own part. It has nothing to do with with me necessarily. I'm I'm just I'm just uh, uh, you know helping with 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 gui guidance and facilitate facilitating right facilitating the process so that people can can get get in the right direction and hopefully. In the next few years, the, this planet will be a, a lot better off than what it has been. And I don't know. Uh, the next few years, Donald Trump definitely won't be around. And I, 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 I don't know. Um, you know, I, I think that he. One of the one of the reasons I didn't mind him coming into the the arena was because he has business skills. And um, it's turning out that these business skills are. Turning out are are, are are causing more problems than the work. That's what it seems like to me. So I don't know. But you know, um, uh, and uh, with uh, with that in mind, um, you see that I'm wearing this mask, and um, it's it's mo it's mostly because I've got um, chronic sinusitis. I've I've been ever since 1991. When they started sp spraying the chemtrails all over the place, I've had sinusitis, uh, chronic sinusitis, and finally, um, I, I'm hopefully if, if if in the next few months, if things work out um, and my I get the diabetes sugar levels uh, low enough, then um, the my ENT doctor is gonna uh, uh, do a, an operation on my nose to adjust it so I can breathe better. So, but in the meantime. Um, aloha, uh, uh, Gerilyn. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, in the meantime, um, this mask, a uh, mask literally helps me because I got this, this, uh, this, um, drip going on. 
and so it helps with the drip and, and it helps with my breathing so I um, that's the biggest reason I'm, I have this on uh, not because of the coronavirus and speaking of the coronavirus right let's go and go ahead and go into that now uh, apparently I've been uh, coming coming across information that it's a man-made virus it's not like a regular flu or anything like that so there um I, I'm going to put I, I'm going to put some links on on the comment section where you can go check out. There's uh, this guy uh, I can't remember what his name is, but anyhow he he's uh, come up with a protocol so that you can follow to prevent it and to help heal it if you want uh, if you want to do that. So so it's like that. Um, and so uh, anyhow um, right now you know I just talked to a neighbor and he said it's not a big deal. There was more uh, deaths last year from the common flu than so far with the coronavirus. So, it, you know, I, I don't know where, uh, where, where this is going to lead to. I don't know where, where the, the, this whole, ep, you know, epidemic is going to, going to take us. But, uh, if you have some, a chance to sit down and send some love, light, healing, prayers, blessings to China and South Korea and anybody else involved uh, with the coronavirus, affected by the coronavirus, I, I would strongly recommend that you do that. Because e even one person that prays for a minute and, 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 and then you multiply that by a million, can you imagine the power of that? It's like amazing, like out of this world. So I would, ta I would take time to, to just sit down and even if you do it once. Um, I've already done some, some programming, I call it programming, similar to prayer, praying I think maybe. But uh, uh, and I, I who knows how how effective that that'll be. But again, if, if a million people do this, the, do some praying and send some love and light and healing and reiki and all that other stuff to these people, I think that the mess will be clear up and then we'll we don't have to deal with this or, or, or worry about this anymore. So anyhow, um, I, again, I'll put some links on, on in the comment section, and uh, you can read about some of the stuff that this guy has been talking about. So it's like that. Um, let me see, the Academy Awards, I want to con congratulate all those people that, that won, won, um, uh, awards uh, at the Academy Awards. I specifically want to congratulate, I believe it's, it's the Koreans, I, I can't remember, I believe it's with the movie Parasite. Now, um, it's beyond me that this movie, uh, it's like history in the making part too, right? Uh, it, it's beyond me th that that this movie would win the b best movie of the year award, and yet, where do you watch the movie? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand how this movie can can win the best movie of the year award, and you there's nowhere in town, there's nowhere in the state of Arizona that 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 uh, that you can watch the movie Parasite. Aloha, G uh, Jeannie. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I I I don't understand it. Uh, where where do you watch the movie? So anyhow, but but on on the other side of the coin, it just lets you know how bored Americans must be. Uh, you know that there's you know you know if if a, a America a, an, an America produce American producer can't win the movie of the year award and it, it's going to some 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 other country, that shows you that. These people are just making movies just to make money, which is a line of shit. If they were just to put their heart in the right space, in the right place, and make movies to educate people, to inform people, to uh, provide people with some productivity and creativity, uh, to show people service that can be done on our planet, true stories, the true stories ones are, are, are usually do the best, you know, I, I, they would do a lot better, but I don't know. I don't understand it. It just it just doesn't make any sense. The, pe pe people just want to make money, so they're just throwing out stories that, just so they put together a movie and so they make, make, so they can make a movie. In fact, uh, later when when I go over uh, 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 reviews of some of the movies that I've watched in the last two or three weeks or whatever, you'll see it, that some of the movies. Oh my God. I um I, I think last last month uh, or last time I did a um it's on a one of the one of the streaming services oh really Amazon Prime I don't know I don't know if if uh, Parasite's on that 
on 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 uh, Amazon Prime, but but I definitely would uh, would like to watch it to see why this movie got got uh, Film of the Year award. So I don't know. Uh, and thanks for that information, Geraldine. Jer so anyhow, uh, later when I when I go over uh, the reviews, you'll see. Uh, you know, and, and last time I did an update, I didn't have any one thumb up movies. Not one, and this time. I have three of them. That that's how disgusting these movies are. They're, they're, they're pathetic. They're, they're, the screen, the, the um, screen, screen, screenwriting is pathetic. Uh, the directing is pathetic. Oh my God, the content is pathetic. It's just, it's just beyond me. So anyhow, so um, I, I, I do want to congratulate uh, Quentin and Daniela Tarantino on their new child. And I forgot to check. Um, I want to congratulate them on their. They just had a, a kid. I think it's a boy, and so uh, you know, hopefully, you know, blessings, tons of blessings to to them and 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 throughout, uh, you know, their their um, their path, whatever that may be. So, anyhow, I also want to uh, congratulate Meghan Markle and Prince Harry on their on their steps to becoming uh, normal citizens. I don't know if that's a, if that's proper for for me to throw out there, but but they're they're really being brave. I I, I have the feeling that there was a, a some some prejudice going on, and and um, Megan just wasn't liking it. I I think that's what the the whole beef is all about. So they find and since uh, Prince Harry is like sixth in line to become king, what does he need to stick around for, right? Just just to to um, uh, empower and support. Uh, all the rest of the people, all the rest of the guys, be, be making all this money or whatever, right? So, and Prince Harry got a lot of really um, genuine, authentic actions that he's taken towards uh, helping uh, homeless people. And now I got this idiot calling me right now. It's probably a solicitor, but that's his other point. Anyhow, um. Uh, so he's, he's done a lot of a lot of service, um, and so um, it, it, I think I think he's in the right direction. And I don't know. I, I think if Megan goes back into acting, um, I, I don't know if you follow any of the actors or uh, actresses or whatever. But even the mediocre actors, if if they stick with it for a few years, they'll make a million dollars, literally, easily. And so uh, I I think she's in the right direction, and I think she, if she makes if she does some uh, does some movies, she'll she'll be a she'll make her own million, and and she won't need the ro the royal hand to support her at all, and not not anything against Prince Harry, but but that you know I'm sure that'll be helpful for both of them. So now, in the meantime, Prince Harry could could do. Uh, and I think he's already doing it, or maybe in that direction. He's he's uh, he's put he's doing uh, con con um, speaking engagements. I think that's perfect for leadership, uh, you know, retreats and uh, and and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I mean, I think he he has a lot of potential in really, really getting out there and 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 um, how would you say getting getting supporting other people that make them really good leaders as well. So I think he has he has a lot of potential. Uh, Aloha, Michelle. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, so um, anyhow. Blessings to them, and may th uh, may th may they be guided along their paths and their travels, and hopefully everything will work out for them in a good, healthy way. So uh, I I I can see that 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 that's uh, that has a lot of potential, and uh, and and just being brave to go out there on their own and say, forget it, royalty, we're gonna do this on our own. That's a big step. So I. I I, I applaud them and I uh, and I send I send them lots of light and love to uh, to, to on on their travels and on their journey. So um, uh, with that in mind, uh, Bernie Sanders, uh, I, I congratulate you because uh, you you uh, seem to be um, I, I yeah I, I don't know what what's going to happen. It, it uh, it's predicted that Donald Trump is is still going to be the president, the next president of the United States. He's going to do a, a second term. And again, I've already talked to other people about this. And even if that happens, 
I don't think he's going to make it for the full four years. I, he's going to have a heart attack. Something's going to happen, and I don't think he's going to make it all the way. So I think that's what's going to happen. So, and if not, then maybe Bernie Sanders will become the next president. I, I hope so. I think he'd be a great president. Um, he's a bit old for it, but, but that doesn't matter as long as he's keeping healthy and eating right and, and you know, following a routine that's, that's healthy for him. I think he'll be fine. So um, uh, the full, uh, let me see, again, uh, if, uh, we're, we're going to be doing, um, um, pending my getting a new computer and getting my, all my ducks lined up in a row. Um, the ascended Citizens, I'm going to have an Ascended Citizens event. We're going to get together and do a Zoom um, a, a conference meeting and talk. Uh, and ba basically, the, the group is going to be all about doing service. Uh, not just maintaining a conscious, uh, healthy, right relationship with other people as well as with yourself, but, but and, and being active in, in that process, in that participation. But it's going to be all about about um, uh, doing service projects. Uh, eventually, the whole idea is to do service projects all over the country, uh, all over the world, and and anything from from painting fences to mowing lawns to doing healing work to do accounting to who uh, I don't know all the projects that that, pe that people have in mind but um, there's already a number of people that are that are signed up for, for this group uh, and literally it's it's a political uh, group as well I, 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 I've literally registered uh, I'm literally registered as a Senate citizen political party so so if you if, you know people can formally become Senate citizens and, and, and list themselves as other and then write in ascended citizen if they want to do that. But, but the whole idea is to, is to do service projects that will help uh, all of humanity. Uh, in, uh, in, uh, and, and I know there's already resources out there, but, but I, I, I want to be able to, to expand upon that and, and personalize the, those projects so that people uh, will get personal benefit from what I'm doing not just for him, from what everybody else is doing. And so I, I, I don't know that I'm going to establish a nonprofit for that. Probably later on I will, um, and, and maybe I'll establish, um, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, um, anyhow, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, I, what do I want to call it? Um, anyhow, I'll, I'll establish a, a uh, of, of company or nonprofit organizations that will fund that type of activity further down the road. That's the whole idea. So we'll see what happens. So in the meantime, um, part of uh, being an extended citizen it has to do with uh, doing prayers, doing meditations, doing service projects, uh, reading spiritual inspirational works, uh, uh, and also listening to inspirational uh, spiritual stuff. So um, uh, on, on uh, March 9th, uh, we're going to be doing a full moon meditation. So if you want to get in on that, uh, uh, there's a, some link. Uh, is it, do I have that here? I think I do. There's a, there's a link for, for, yeah, there is, for, for doing the, the, the meditation that I'll be doing on March 9th. Uh, I think that's a Monday. And then I also have listed in, 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 in the, I'll have listed in the comment section, section a book that uh, that I've written that concerning all this that will help you get an idea of what of what I'm, I'm trying to accomplish or of what I, I I I think better better phrase is what needs to be accomplished because this planet the the leadership on this planet is really gone haywire so I think it, it needs to be shifted and changed to a leadership that's healthy that takes care of their people that 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 um you know, it, it just just deals with challenges in a good, healthy way and, and not uh, attack people or attack stuff or whatever. So it's like that. So anyhow, in, in the comment section, I'll ha I have a, um, a, P a PDF file that you can go and read, read the, uh, the book for yourself if you want. And uh, it's, all, it's on my website. You can literally go on the 90 Day Ascension Journey on the left-hand side, top left-hand side. You can... You can download it from my website if you want, but I'll have it on, on, on the comment section as well so you can get to it there. So, 
Anyhow, moving on to um, movie reviews. And again, you know, it, it's beyond me that, that, that American people can't come up with a movie that will win the, the movie of the year award. It's just beyond me. It just, it does, it's just, you know, I, I don't know. It just, it doesn't make, it does make sense because people are so greedy and selfish and, and, uh, and so the, instead of doing a movie that, that's good and healthy and productive and creative and, 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 and uh, has service projects or service in it, they're just making movies to make money. It just doesn't make any sense. So, well, it does, but that's besides the point. Um, the uh, the mo following movies uh, are two thumbs up. They, they, I watched these movies, and I really enjoyed uh, the, the movie. Um, and I, I recommend them if you, if you want to watch these movies for yourself, you know, get, um, get a, a group of, uh, uh, I don't know, with your partner, your friends, your family, or whatever, but, but, um, the list goes like this, Ford versus Ferrari, Playing with Fire, Shazam, The Coldest Game, Where'd You, uh, where'd you Go, uh, Bernadette, Long Shot, Baywatch, American Assassin, now, so, uh, um, most of these movies I rented from, from, um, from Redbox, and then some of them I actually have on, uh, uh, on file, I have in, in my collection, in my library, and, um, it, it, you know, you know, it, it's, it's like, sometimes I, j I just don't, I, there's nothing else to watch, so I'll just grab some movies from my library. And luckily, I like them enough that, that I'll, I, I, I'll sit there and I'll watch them. And, you know, they're in my library, and I, I, I don't mind watching them again and again and again. Uh, most movies, I, I can tolerate maybe maybe watching one. Some of these th one thumb up movies, I, I, I couldn't even tolerate uh, th th watching the whole movie because it was so obnoxious, so stupid. So anyhow, um, Ford versus Ferrari, I, I think that got an editing award uh, from... From the from the Academy Awards, um, but it, it was actually a good movie I, I, about um, the Ford company ha go, going to getting in a brawl with Ferrari. Right? They went in to buy uh, Ford went in to buy Ferrari, and the the owner of Ferrari got pissed off because because uh, they, they they you know he asked, well if if I want to challenge a, a certain a company or a certain car or a certain racer for for the uh, for the um, um, because the Ferrari every year that was winning this race out in Italy I think it was in Italy Italy a 24-hour race right yeah uh, the, they, they 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 would race for a whole 24 hours and they would they would win every year every year right so uh, Ford didn't even have a car for racing at the time this is back in 1962 I believe and so, and and, and um, so Ford wanted to buy uh, Ferrari so they can can have a, a, a racing car, but Ferrari got pissed off because because they, they Ford was said you know you can't just race anybody you want to if we get an agreement and a contract agreement with you, and so the 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 Italian uh, owner said well screw you, and and so they they ended up selling out to Fiat instead right. So it was like that, um, and so Ford uh, goes. The the owner of Ford goes. I want you to put together a racing car that a, 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 that can beat these guys, and I don't care how much money it costs. So um, what's his name? This and this just came out. Um, I think la last year. Yeah, last year. Uh, Matt Damon, Christian Bale, uh, Kai Kai Tri Tri Kai Triano Balf. Uh, Noah uh, Jupe, John Berth, Berth, Bernthal, Joshua, uh, Josh Lucas, R Remo Jerome, and Tracy Letts. Um, so anyhow, Matt, uh, they hire Matt Damon, who's, who's put together these, these cars before. And th this is based on a true story. Um, so, and I don't remember what the character's name was for that Matt Damon, but anyhow, Matt, they hire Matt Damon 
to put put together this this story, this car, and 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 Chris and, and Matt Damon hires Christian Bell to be the driver. Well, you know, and Christian Bell is like a washed out driver, but he's also a a, a rebel, right? He uh, he's un, uh, out of control, and and people don't want to hire him because he's he won't he won't listen, right? So finally, Christian Bell, uh, the uh, they, uh, the com- Ford says, well, they hire their own uh, assistant to to watch over this this project, and and they go, well, we don't want Christian Bell, we we want Joe Schmo, and and so they they do, they get Joe Schmo, and what do they do? They lose, right? So Matt Damon goes, let me bring in Christian Bell to race, and if if he wins, then when then you let us do the, 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 the Italian race. And if he doesn't, then we'll just call it off, call everything off, or whatever. So sure enough, Christian Bell wins, because Christian Bell helped build the car. He knew every little thing about the car. And all these guys that were racing before him, he, he was just listening on the radio, and he, he already knew why they were losing, because they were doing stupid stuff, right? So it was like that. So anyhow, um, they do. They they win the the well. They they win the um, the Italian race. In fact, they re- won it five years in a row, and um, I, I think five years in a row, and um, and and then mo- went went from there. So, but uh, in, in the end, Christian Bell, his character uh, gets killed in a in a in a uh, in a car accident afterwards. But which was kind of traumatic. But that's besides the point. No, it was traumatic. So. Anyhow, the son the, and the, his son takes over because, you know, he, his son and him have a really good relationship, and so he grows up and he takes over for, for the race race car. Um, Playing with Fire, again, all these movies came out last year except the last one, Baywatch and American Assassin. So why why is that like that? Anyhow, um, is that right? Okay. Oh, long shot. Why why? Is, okay, there it is. So anyhow, all these movies came out ex- uh, in last year except for Baywatch, American Assassin, and that's it. That's so, uh, the next movie I want to talk about is Playing with Fire. John Cena, uh, Keegan Michael Key, uh, John Leguizamo, Le- Leguizamo. I, you know, Tyler Maine, Judy Greer. Um, oh my God, what a freaking ca- crack up! These guys were like funny. The, uh, the, the John Cena comes from a, 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 a line of, of, of firefighters. Uh, these special firefighters called, uh, I want to say, ju- fire jump sport. I don't remember what the name was. I, I should. I was going to write it down. I forgot. But anyhow, uh, the, the, there are these uh, special firefighters that they literally throw into the fire. They, they, they parachute down into the fire and they fight the fire from within and, and, and take care of it that way. So there's only like uh like what 342 of them or something like that in, in the world, and so John and his crew are are, are these jump jump sports or uh, I can't remember what they're called, what the name of it is but anyhow somehow these kids come into the picture right and they end up having to take care of them be, because because uh there it's raining and all this stuff is going on and 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 the come to find out the 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 kids parents uh, died and so they're just on their own right so they go through all this uh, mirage of events oh my god hilarious stuff and uh J- john Cena is like this big old huge you know uh, bulky guy right and he's going to take care of these kids or not well anyhow the, uh, the at the end they end up uh, adopting the kids and so it, it was um it was a nice ending um that was a and again th- we're talking about foster kids and all this stuff Shazam, um, Asher Angel, who's the, who's the kid, and then Zachary Levi, who's the the superhero version of that kid. Uh, uh, Jack Dylan, who Grazer, I I believe that's his friend. Faith Herman, which is oh oh, oh this kid is is uh, he, he's out uh, he, he's in all these fosters home. Somehow, uh, at the beginning, her, his mom disappears, right? And and all of a sudden he's all in in all these foster homes, and he ends up up with this one uh, last foster home, and they have all these four kids. It's a group home type of thing, right? 
So uh, somehow Asher ends up in this in this um, I want to say dungeon, but it's not. It, it's just this place where this uh, wizard is at, and this wizard is going, "Yeah, hey, I'm dying, and I, I'm weak, and I need to pass on my powers." So he passes on his powers to to Asher, and, and he becomes Shazam, right? So anyhow, they, they go. They, they of course they have the villain. If you like Marvel movies, uh, Marvel stu studio movies, you'll like this movie. And if you don't, well. I don't know what to tell you. That's the way it goes. But anyhow, it's not like a typical Marvel studio movie, but I think it is actually a Marvel uh, movie. But anyhow, anyhow, it's funny. Um, they go through all this process of learning how to become a, a superhero. And his friend, his his roommate, or uh, uh, from the foster home, uh, he helps him out. Oh, you got you got super speed. Oh, you, and you can dodge bullets, or you can. Uh, reject bullets and you know he helps him figure out what his powers are and all this stuff and it's, it's just really a crack up but anyhow if you want to check it out it's it's pretty funny um especially if you watch this with the kids right it's a good movie to watch with the kids uh and so is playing with fire uh the coldest game bill uh, pullman lot of verbeek uh james bloor Al 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 alexi cerebriac Serebryakov, uh, anyhow, um, and, and if you know anything about the Cold War um, and it, about the Cuban Missile Crisis, literally that we that was the closest that humanity has ever come clo uh, come in terms of destroying itself. You know, um, that close, right? So. Um, the Russians, uh, you know, were were gonna fire their nukes, and the Americans were gonna fire their nukes, and all this other stuff going on, and they're like like head to head, and so anyhow they they resolve this. I want to say they resolve this whole issue with chess game, right? And so they're gonna have this big chess game in Russia, and but the Russians killed the the original. Player, they killed him. Yeah, you know, they poisoned him or something. So they get Bill Pullman, who's a professor at this school, and he's also a really good chess player. And they grab him. They literally kidnap him and say, "Hey, we want you to play chess because blah 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 blah." So he does. He kicks the the Russian guy's ass big time. And um, and but uh, the 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 people that 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 hired them and got got him there. Uh, I think two of them were 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 um, espionage. They were they were traitors or something. I don't know. They were they they were going to set up set up something. But but um, anyhow, the, the, they Bill Pullman and, and, uh, he he gets um, he hits it off with one of their guys, and then plus they had another another uh, uh, spy in there that that was helping them out, and uh, one one of the um, one of the majors or something like that for the Russians. Uh, so they, those guys help them out, and getting everything, you know, resolved and and the playing the game, and then finally they get them out of there. They they have, they have to sneak them out of there because they're gonna kill them and all this other stuff. Blah blah blah. So anyhow, yeah, a very intense movie. Wow, uh, there was no, it wasn't a lot of actual violence in there, but I tell you what, it it, it felt like it. That's for Alex, uh, Aloha. Thanks for stopping by. So anyhow, um. Um, again, there was not a lot of violence in there, but, but wow, was that movie intense. The coldest game. Um, so anyhow, where'd you go, Bernadette? I just watched that the other night, uh, night with, uh, again, 2019, uh, Kate Blanchett, uh, Bill, Billy, uh, Cru Crudpa, uh, Emma Nelson, uh, Christian Wig, Judy Grigg, uh, Greer, uh, and Lawrence, um, Fishburn, right? Fishburn, yeah. So anyhow, um, the, the, the Kate Blanchett, her character is this artist, uh, architect, right? She's a major architect, and she puts together, the, she does this major project. And so, anyhow, some some asshole buys it and destroys it, literally. Like, with when one day, destroys it. Aloha, um, Amora. Uh, thanks for stop, um, um, stopping by. So, anyhow, this idiot destroys her project in, like, one day. She spent, I think, three years doing this project. So she p takes a hiatus. She says, Forget this. I'm not going to do this. So she 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 
uh, ends up be, be becoming a mom, uh, mother, and um, which is Emma Nelson, his, her daughter. They get a, they have this really good relationship going on, and then um, somehow the the husband uh, thinks that she's crazy, right? So because all this stuff is going on, so so they they make an arrangement to go to Antarctica. Um, because the daughter wa wants to do this trip because they're going to do some kind of science science thing going on. So, anyhow, uh, the the husband doesn't want her to go to Antarctica because he thinks she's, she's crazy. And so she disappears and she goes to Antarctica, and both of them immediately know the fa the father, the husband, and the and the daughter know that she's gone to Antarctica. So she does. They do. They they end up um, finding her there. And uh, and it, is, it so happens that the people in South uh, South uh, at the South Pole uh, are gonna are are gonna redo the 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 buildings there, the structures there. So she goes, oh, I want to do this for you guys, blah blah blah. <laughs> so so anyhow, she ends up smuggling herself into into the South Pole where nobody except scientists can go to, right? So so anyhow, she, they, she ends up uh, getting the gig and. And uh, the, the husband and daughter end up meeting her there, and, and so and um, they live happily ever after, right? So it's like that. A long shot. Yeah, you've already heard me talking about long shot. Oh man, I love this movie. Char Charlie again, 2019. Charlize Theron, uh, Seth Rogen, uh, June D uh, Diane Raphael, uh, Ravi Patel. Um, Char uh, Charlize uh, Theron. Is is a, is a secretary of state, right? And so uh, the the president, the, the 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 he doesn't want to, the you know in, in the movie the president in the movie uh, doesn't want to uh, uh, do another term. So he goes, oh, I'll I'll endorse you. So she goes, okay, cool. So he uh, Seth Rogen, she used to babysit when she was uh, she was a, a kid, right? And so he's a writer. So he she goes, oh, I want you to write for me. I want you to write my speeches. So she goes. Uh, so he goes. Okay. So he ends up writing the speeches. They go traveling everywhere, and um, and anyhow, they get involved with each other. Oh my God! What what an interesting relationship. So um, so anyhow, at the very end, she ends up becoming pr a president, and he ends up becoming her bitch. But that's besides the point. So, um, funny movie, interesting movie, and and if you're a woman. And, and uh, want a woman to become president? That's a good movie for you to watch. Anyhow, uh, Baywatch, 2018. Dwayne Johnson, Zac Efron, Priyanka Chopra, Alexandra Daddario, uh, uh, Daddario, uh, Kelly Rohrbach, uh, John Bass, and uh, Life Nesh Hadera. Um, if you've ever watched any of the Baywatch uh, TV series, movies, or, or shows, it, 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 you know they. They go in and um, they have uh, the the people next door. Uh, Priyanka Chopra is planning on taking over the whole community and and embezzling drugs and all this stuff. So they ca uh, Dwayne Johnson and, and and the rest of the gang go in there and catch them and um, and um, end up end up uh, basically giving them the boot. But that's the other point. American Assassin, 2017. Oh, this was this was. Okay, I take it back. The American Assassin um, is a uh, is is a 1.5 thumb up, thumbs up. So the rest of the movies that I'm going to be talking about are all one thumbs up, or 1.5 thumbs up. Uh, beginning with uh, Issy and Ossie. Uh I I believe this was a foreign movie because they 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 took the words and redid them, and so that makes it look like they're. T Saying them in English and 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 it, it they didn't do a bad job doing that, but the 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 the, the content the the screenwriting just just didn't work uh, very well. It was it, the acting was cheesy. Um, uh, uh, this came out this year. Lisa Vicari, Darcy Rose Burns, uh, Dennis Mohan. Um, this the, it, it, this kid, Lisa Vicari is is a rebel she's she comes from a, a wealthy family and they won't give her the money to become a chef because she wants to go and become a chef right and so um so she rebels and goes to some nearby community and, and runs away 
and gets a job and all this stuff and and the the parents are going oh my god yeah and so they're like they're they're throwing their hands up oh no so they're going crazy and so they finally give in and they say okay we'll give you the money to go to chef school and so in the meantime she meets this guy who's a boxer he's an uh, up and coming box uh, boxer right uh he has a, a whole lot of potential and all he has to do is win one fight and then he'll be in, in the pros right so uh she goes well i want you to be pretend like you're my boyfriend and and uh, i'll give you money for your 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 boxing um um match and then uh and then and then uh, and j just long enough so that my parents will find you know will give me the money so i can become a chef so they do they go on and they find out they figure out that they really like each other and they end up have happily ever after blah 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 all right so it's like that now last christmas uh this just came out 2019 um with emilia clark uh, henry golding michelle Yeo, uh peter uh, my Ma Ma emma thompson and so anyhow um the uh, emma uh, uh emilia clark her character she works in this this shop, this this Christmas shop, where um, they sell all the stuff, uh, Christmas stuff all year long, right? And so, in in, in the meantime, uh, she ends up meeting Henry Golding, and they they hit it off, and and they they do all this stuff, and they end up in this this um, park, small park, and there's a bench there, and they they eat there and all this stuff, and so anyhow, they they. Um, Henry keeps disappearing and comes back, and finally, and and and, and Emilia, who's who's uh, she's a lost cause, right? She's she's uh, homeless. She she uh, goes and gets drunk. She's always late for work. You know that that kind of, that routine. So um, Henry helps her with getting her 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 act straight, right? And come to find out, uh, this is a, a paranormal movie, right? He's because he's actually a ghost. Uh, apparently, uh, Amelia had had a problems with her heart, and so uh, Henry Golding, uh, um, some, he it was in an accident, and so he contributed his heart to her so she can live. In the meantime, he dies. So all this time she's talking to a ghost, but how do you how do you kiss somebody that's a ghost, right? How do you hold their hand? You know, it was it was kind of cheesy in the way they did it. It was it was fun, funny, and fun to watch, but. But it was, it, it, you know, when you're talking paranormal, you, you know, if, if you half-ass do the movie, again, one of these movies, somebody just wanted to make some money, half-ass does the movie, and 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 it's not uh, in, in um, the way that it should be in, in as a paranormal movie. But that's besides the point. And it doesn't have to be a, a horror movie or anything. It, it can be funny, but but come on, how is he gonna kiss her? If, if if he if he's a ghost right so anyhow bad boys 2 will smith martin lawrence again 2019 gabrielle union uh jordy mola um they uh they find figure out that some cops i believe some cops and this this um this bad guy this um cartel guy i think is, is a better better word so um our you know they're doing their thing and and they're doing their no good and and so uh Martin Lawrence's sister ends up being involved right she she ends up becoming a um operative of uh, um I don't know officer or whatever but anyhow she th they kidnap her in the meantime the uh, Will Smith and Martin Lawrence cause all these problems right and so the the police chief fires them. You're fired. Give me your badge. Give me your gun. Right. <laughs> so, so, so in, in the meantime, they, they they still have to figure out how they're going to go and save his, uh, Martin Lawrence's sister. So all these guys come up forward and say, "Hey, we'll help you," and because it's it the the whole thing. They take her to some other country, right? So all these all these guys put, put form together a team and they go out there and they save the day, right? So it's like that. So um, lots of violence, lots, uh, lo lots of action. Uh, if you like those movies, but that's another the point. Um, airplane mode. Uh, Larissa, oh, Man Man Manuela, uh, Andre, Luis, uh, from Frombach, 
uh, Erasmo, Carlos, uh, Mariona, uh, Amancio, uh, Niobe, uh, Zain, Zainab, and I don't know who else. There's somebody else in there. Uh, there's a bunch of people, but anyhow, um, oh my God, this is the typical uh, modern day uh, girl, girl that that she. <laughs> She uh, and and this is a you know she's a social media influencer or whatever. She's working with this company and they have all these fashions. They make all this money by make uh, selling all this all these clothes. But and she she's like their star, and and but she's also a pain in the ass. She she gets into all these accidents. Finally, one last accident and she and the mom and dad say, well you're out of here. You're gonna go and stay live with grandpa, where there's no you you can't use your cell phone. There's, uh, and you know it's out in the woods, blah blah blah, and she's going, no, I can't. So she she, she ends up going anyhow, and um, she meets some guy. In the meantime, um, the company she, she's with make her break up or make, make the guy, the, her boyfriend, break up with her and and get involved with the her her friend instead, right? So so it's like that, um, and um, anyhow the the the. She ends up getting involved with this other guy in, in, at this place. It's I think it's an island. I'm not sure where it's at. But anyhow, incredible viewpoints. This is a good movie to watch on the large screen. Um, large screen because it, it's, it's amazing, just amazing uh, views there. But anyhow, um, she gets involved with this other guy instead, and and then anyhow, she ends up creating her own own line of clothes, and then the the company somehow ends up. And, you know, again, there's a lot of really cheesy stuff in this movie, but it's it's great for 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 the the daughters, you know, the 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 girls if they want to watch something that's uh, more or less empowering for the girls. But but anyhow, um, the um, she creates her her own uh, whole line of clothes, and the company comes in and steals it from her. So she goes back, she, she gets her friends, and they steal it back, and. And the 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 woman that's uh, in charge of the company gets arrested. Blah blah blah. So it's like that. Uh, to all the um, the boys I've loved before, uh, Lana uh, and this came out in 2017. Lana, Lana Condor, Noah Centineo, uh, Janelle Parrish, uh, Anna Carth, Cart, Andrew Bachelor. Anyhow, um, this girl, she you know, in growing up, she falls in love with all these guys. So. So again, this is a good good movie to watch with with the girls and and the kids. But um, she she grows up and she falls in love with these guys, five guys. So she writes them so she writes them love notes, uh, love letters, and a actually addresses them, and and doesn't send them right. So it's like that. So the little sister goes and sends the little letters right, and so all these guys are coming up there. Really, I didn't know you felt that way about me. Blah blah blah. So. So anyhow, she she ends up setting up a a, a, a pack with with one of the guys, and um, uh, Noah Centineo, and um, you know she she they pretend like they're boyfriend and girlfriend. So anyhow, they go through all this stuff, and then they figure out they really do like each other. So they end up being boyfriend and girlfriend at the end. Blah blah blah. Right. So it's like that. Um, I'm at, there's actually another movie that I'm watching that's that's a sequel to this. It, um, it's so far it's it's kind of cheesy and it's wor it's not as good as this one, uh, and then they're coming out with a, a third one I think, maybe a fourth one too I I don't know but anyhow they're coming out with another one, and um, I don't know that they'll be uh, as good as this one but but again it it, it has to do with uh, the main thing is that that it it really really focuses on dating for for kids right for teenagers. And what to expect, and you know what what to do, and so forth. So it's a really good a movie on maybe going over some pointers on on dating that might be helpful for for the kids, right? So it's like that. Um, War on Everyone. Alexander Skarsgård, Michael Pena. Oh my God. The, uh, Theo James, Tessa Thompson, uh, Stephanie Sigmund. The, these guys, uh, uh, Alexander Skarsgård and uh, Michael Pena are cops, right? They're dirty cops, and they get their m make extra money by by ripping off, uh, you know, thugs, right? So uh, they take a step, one step too many, and 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 rip off uh, a cartel guy, 
again, the same guy, um, what's his name? No, that's not him. So anyhow, they, 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 they take one too many steps, end up in all kinds of trouble, and, and um, anyhow, they, they have to kill all these guys in the very end, and, um, and um, to get themselves out of, out of, the, out of the, the bind that they get, somehow got themselves in. See now, uh, Mr. Wright, oh my God, what a funny movie. 2015, um, with Anna Kendrick, Sam Rockwell, Tim Roth, James Ransom, uh, Arison Mount, Michael Eklund, RZA, and, and uh, Katie Nira. So, oh, this, um, again, um, Anna Kendrick is this washed out woman that, that ends up on all these uh, on all these dates and and ends up screwing relationships screwing up relationships, and in the meantime John Rockwell is is a ex CIA he's a rogue right, the CIA is looking for him and I believe it's a CIA but anyhow they're looking for him and he he uh, he somehow ends up with Anna Kendrick and she tells him well you can't kill anybody or something like that, and um, and so he. He gets in, in all this brawls with all these people, all these thugs, and tries not to kill him. And at the very end, she ends up uh, and getting involved with 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 all the the mess, and um, they, she ends up killing uh, at least one of those guys. So, so a very interesting, very intense movie, uh, but it's also a romance type of movie. So it's um, it's 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 kind of violent. It is violent, but but it's also very interesting and funny. Um, 2015, Term Life, Vince Vaughn, Haley Seinfeld, Bill Paxton, Jonathan Banks, uh, Jordy uh, Mola, Terrence Howard. Again, and I, I don't know why I've, I've, I've been watching all these violent movies lately, but it just is. So I, I guess that's all that's available to watch it, because I, I think I watched this on, on Netflix, and I, I think Mr. Wright I watched on Netflix. And War on Everyone, I think I watched on Netflix. And uh, To All the Boys, I've loved before I watched on Netflix. Airplane Mode on Netflix. Bad Boys 2 on Netflix. Chris, last Christmas, I watched on, on uh, Redbox. Auss Issy and Aussie, Netflix. Uh, yeah, so, as you can see, um, the, it, that's probably why I was watching all these violent movies. Cause that's all that's available on Netflix, right? Netflix wants to brainwash you with, with violence. What a bunch of shit, but that's the other one. So anyhow, Term Life, again, Vince Vaughn is involved with these thugs. He, he actually uh, creates these, these uh, heists, right? And he sells them to people, and then they, they go and make the money off of them. Like, he'll create uh, some kind of, uh, well, something like robbing a bank, and then he'll sell it for 30000 and they'll... And if they could do everything right, then, then uh, like they're supposed to, then then they'll make 250,000 from the gig, right? So so anyhow, he somehow robs the wrong people or something, and these thugs start chasing him, and and he has this, he doesn't even have a a, a relationship hardly at all or or at all with Haley Steinfeld, her, his daughter, right? So um, so anyhow, <clears throat> they they want to kill both of them, uh, so they run, 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 and and they get to know each other, and so, so they end up um, having a much better relationship after it's all done and said, right? So it's like that. The other guys: Mark Wahlberg, Will Ferrell, Michael Keaton, <laughs> uh, uh, Ev, Ev Mendez, Samuel Jackson, Dwayne Johnson. Oh my God, this that was a funny movie. Um, Steve Coogan, Rob Riggle. Uh, at at the beginning. Um, Mark Wahlberg and, and and Will Ferrell are just just office people. Uh, you know, there's they're just pencil pushers, uh, pencil pushers, and, and, and in the police department. And Samuel Jackson and Dwayne Johnson are like these hero, uh, badass stud uh, cops, and they go and save the world, right? Well, <laughs> at the very beginning, <coughs> they somehow. I don't know, they're chasing these guys, <laughs> they're on top of this building, and they go, come on, let's go get them, so they jump, <laughs> and they kill themselves, <laughs> what a couple of idiots, but anyhow, um, so Mar Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell take over, and, 
and they go and solve these crimes and, and, and get the bad guys. So it's like that. The tuxedo came out in 2000. And that, that, the other guys was out in 2010. Uh, 2002, the tuxedo, Jackie Chan, Jennifer Love Hewitt, Jason Isaacs, and Debbie Mazar. Um, now, the interesting thing about that, that movie, not only, did, you know, of course, Jackie Chan kicks ass. He does all this kung fu, blah, blah, blah. Uh, very entertaining to watch. But this tuxedo is, is, is like, like interesting technology, right? You push this button and it, it, teach you, it, it, it uh, fights for you. It, it, all of a sudden you know how to do kung fu. You, you push another button and all, know, all of a sudden you know how to romance a woman. You push another button and, and I, I don't know, all this stuff. So it's really weird but it's funny. And so anyhow, the, the um, Jackie Chan is, is a taxi driver. And so they hire him for, for this rich guy um, to to help to drive for his rich, for this rich guy this wealthy guy because because they, they need a really good driver so so anyhow uh, somehow the, the rich the rich guy gets killed and so Jackie Chan takes over and he puts on the tuxedo and he he goes and fights the crime right with with uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt um, where the money is Paul Newman Linda Fiorentino uh, Dermot uh, Mulroney uh, 1990. This is an old movie, but still a very interesting movie. Um, Paul Newman. It, 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 well, Linda Fiorentino is is a nurse in this nursing home, right? And so anyhow, they bring in Paul Newman for um, so I, I don't know from 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 prison, and and he's like like par paralyzed. He can't move. He does or he doesn't move, and he's he doesn't talk. Nothing. And Linda, Linda Fiorentino is going, hmm, I think that she, she, she knows he can talk, right? So she throws him, you know, in his wheelchair into the lake, and all of a sudden he comes up <laughs> breathing, right? <laughs> right? So anyhow, uh, he, he, this guy, Paul Newman, he, the character is, is a bank robber. So they set up a heist, and uh, they do, they rob the bank. And then uh, uh, Dermot, uh, who's the, the boyfriend, ends up getting caught, right? Oh, my God, what is so he sells them out. It sends up, sells out Linda and Paul, and the cops are looking for him. So, so they figure it out real quick, and they they grab the money, and take off, and then they go heist a, a jewelry store at the very end. <laughs> and so, uh, interesting movie, funny, funny, and um, just kind of crazy. But now the next three movies uh, are one thumb up. Uh, Horse Girl was basically about an, an, a, a UFO abduction. Uh, and you know when it, again paranormal when you do parano uh, that type of paranormal it's it, it's it, you, not anybody I don't think not anybody can can do it right it's either going to have to, has to be a documentary or it has to be done uh, maybe humor or comedy um, but they try to do it as as a drama I think and just didn't sell I I didn't buy it at all so it was it was lame really lame. Um, the man without gravity, uh, some kid, baby is born, and he he levitates, right? Uh, and so he grows up that way. Uh, you know, they don't give any kind of of, of reasonable um, notion as to why this guy, this kid, is gravitating, uh, levitating. I, it does it, It's just lame. I I didn't even watch the whole movie. I just fast forwarded. Uh, earthquake bird. Uh, with uh, and, and uh, now, Horse Girl, Allison Brie and Mo uh, Molly Shannon it came out this year, uh, and the other two movies came out this uh, uh, last year. The Man Without Gravity, El Elio Germano, uh, Sylvia uh, Diamico, uh, Michaela uh, Seskin. Anyhow, they, they ha no explanation. Oh, this kid just gravitates, just ev just levitates. Oh, okay, uh, sure, whatever. So and then earthquake bird, it's it's very similar. Uh, Alicia Alicia, the candor uh, Riley Keo, um, Naoki um, Kobayashi, and Kiki Su Su um, Out of the blue, they and they have a, a little explanation. Oh, the earth the the earthquakes. Uh, they have these earthquakes, and the earthquake bird starts chirping afterwards, and. It, you know, it's all about jealousy, and uh, Alicia Vikander kills 
uh, her friend because her friend's screwing around with her boyfriend. Uh, really lame movie. I, again, I didn't even watch all of it just because it was so lame. So anyhow. Anyhow, uh, if you got any questions, comments, moans, groans, or if you want to do, um, if you want to do um, a reading with me or, or, or a healing session, a Reiki healing session or whatever, um, get a hold of me and then we'll, we'll take care of business. So, you know, have a God Goddess week. Uh, is there anything else? One more item. Again, the Senate Citizens event. Uh, if you want, uh, I'll have links for that uh, in, in my comment section. If you want to join the group and, and get in on the event that we're going to have uh, probably next month or maybe April, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. And then, um, anything else? I don't know. There's something else that I'm supposed to tell you, but it is what it is. That's the way it goes. Anyhow, thanks for stopping by. Have a God Goddess week. The love that you are always have been and always will be. Aloha.